vehicle that's guaranteed to draw a crowd. It's the Plymouth Prowler. Its drop-dead good looks wows the young and old, male and female alike. But to the hardcore performance crowd, the six-cylinder Prowler has always been more show than go. So for 1999, Plymouth decided to give the Prowler a little boost, one that would add some driving excitement without spoiling its civilized for a street rod manners. When we heard about it, we naturally decided we had to drive it and find out if America's only production street rod had finally become a hot rod. The American Heritage College Dictionary defines hot rod as a slang term for, quote, an automobile that has been rebuilt or modified to increase its speed and acceleration, unquote. And that definition fits the 1999 Plymouth Prowler to a T, as the folks at Chrysler have carefully massaged an all-new aluminum engine to give the Prowler more go to match its show. And while the purist on our staff lamented the lack of enough torque to properly light up the monstrous 20-inch rear tires, they could appreciate the 0-60 to 60 run of 5.7 seconds and a fast quarter mile of 14.2 seconds at 98 miles per hour. All made possible by this all-aluminum 3.5-liter single overhead cam 24-valve V6, borrowed from the new L8 sedan. 44 pounds lighter than the earlier iron block version, this new engine produces 253 horsepower and 255 pound-feet of torque, gains of 18 and 13 percent respectively over the 1997 model. Coil-on plug ignition, a plastic intake manifold, stronger water pump, and a cast stainless exhaust manifold are just a few of the improvements. The electronic engine management system was also carefully calibrated to take every advantage of the engine's newfound power. And the auto stick four speed transmission was reworked to deliver a slightly smoother shift without losing too much of its kick. Like the engine body and frame, the Prowler's independent suspension components also make liberal use of aluminum. And the ultra stiff double wishbone front with its pushrod rocker actuated coilover shock assembly is similar to the ones found on Formula One and Indy cars. At the rear is a four-link setup that borrows modified components from the Cirrus Breeze Stratus lineup, as well as the Viper. Through the slalom, this Prowler felt tighter than the original. The wide tires provide superb grip and stability, although when pushed a little too hard, front-end plow becomes prominent. The rack and pinion steering is nicely weighted and had no trouble keeping up with rapid side-to-side -side movements. Braking, however, is another matter. There's no ABS, and no car needs it more than the Prowler. Although equipped with huge 11-inch front and 13-inch rear disc, it takes some delicate footwork to keep from locking them up. As a result, we managed to gingerly bring the Prowler down from 60 in an average 135 feet. But the Prowler isn't about aggressive driving. It's all about cruising. And the Prowler is happiest when motoring on smooth suburban boulevards or surrounded by an appreciative crowd at the local Dairy Queen. It's harsh, but true to Hot Rod Highway Ride will have you pulling into the Plymouth dealer inquiring about an optional kidney belt. And its short-range 12-gallon fuel tank will ensure you don't take the Prowler too far out of its element. Stylistically, little has changed since the 1997 model. But for 99, there's a choice of Prowler yellow or Prowler purple paint for the aluminum body. In addition, stone guards on the rear fenders are making their debut. Same goes for the interior, as the only additions to the tight but nicely executed cockpit are the illuminated window switches with an express down feature for the driver and second generation airbags with a key operated passenger side deactivation switch. Pricing is also close to the 97 model. There are no option and an even $40,000 will put the Prowler in your garage. That is, if you can find one. Plymouth is increasing production from 312 in 97 to 2500 for 1999, but it's still not enough for one per dealer. But it's more than limited availability that makes the 1999 Plymouth Prowler a special car. A heady blend of 50s attitude and 90s high technology, the Prowler is just the ticket for a cruise down memory lane. And unlike many hot rods of old, you won't have to rely on your lucky St. Christopher medal to get you there and back in one piece. I hope you'll join us next week as we begin the 18th season of Motor Week. We'll test the big brash AM General Hummer and ring out Pontiac's Grand Prix with Ram Air. Lisa Barrow takes off in Chrysler's newest concept cars and we'll have all the up to the minute motor news. I'm John Davis. We'll see you then.
Motor Week has been brought to you by Castrol Super Clean All Wheel Cleaner. The cleaner that releases brake dust and road grime from all types of wheels on contact, no matter what age your car. Castrol Super Clean All Wheel Cleaner. And by Michelin. Makers of the Zero Pressure Michelin. Designed to let you drive up to 50 miles at 55 miles per hour without air pressure. Just what you expect from Michelin. To order a video cassette of this program, call 1 800 422 0064 or send 1995 plus 495 shipping and handling to Motor Week, Post Office Box 55742, Indianapolis, Indiana 46205.